Hey guys, this is Izanobri, and I'm here to review another iPhone game. This time, we shall be taking a look at Fantastic Contraption. It's that icon right there. My camera isn't focusing right, but I'm sure you can see which one I'm talking about. There we go. Fantastic Contraption. Now, this game is not a new game. It's been in the App Store for a while, but it, this has been one of my very favorite games of all time in the App Store, and really just not the App Store. Like, overall, it's one of my favorite games, and I figured it uh, deserved a video review uh, so let me boot up a random level here okay here we go let's try this okay let me just uh, delete the stuff that I have here so I can explain to you what the game is all about alright so uh, the gameplay and the premise is very very simple you have that uh, let me zoom up here you have whoop, you got that uh, pink circle there and you gotta get that pink circle in this pink area here right and uh, of course there's always obstacles between the pink circle and the pink area and the game gives you all these little uh, tools that you can combine to create uh, machines like little you know mechanisms that'll you know drag or launch the, the pink circle into the the pink area right and uh, so let's create something here one of the designs that I chose for this level and it's cool because when you put your finger on the uh, on the screen there there's a little picture in picture zoom there for so you know what you're doing and uh, of course I forgot to mention you can only build you see how there's like a, a blue uh, rectangle there right you can only build within that rectangle right to impose a, a limitation on the game otherwise it'd be a little too easy I find okay so the design that I choose for this level is a, uh, a catapult and it'll it'll wait, let me, I screwed up here. Let me zoom in a little bit more so it's easier to work. Okay, here we go. So let's build a catapult. So there's the base. Okay. I'm over here. Okay, so we have the base of the catapult. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now we need the propelling uh, engine, if you will. That's the circle. See how there's a uh, uh, an arrow indicating which uh, direction it's going to. So if I start the simulation here, you can start and stop. This is what happened so far, right? Nothing's happening. So you see how this there's motion there, but of course I need something else. So let's do this. Now if I start this, you'll see how it'll work as a catapult. See how that thing is like shooting that way? So, but it's missing the pink circle. So move the pink circle here a little bit. Now this should work. Let's see. Let's start the simulation again and oh, almost. So maybe I need to bring this a little closer. How about this? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Bam, there you go, victory. Now, the reason I like this game so much is I am not a very smart person when it comes to puzzle games. Right? So I get very frustrated when a puzzle game requires me to beat a certain level in the exact same way that the game designer thought it should be beaten. Like, as you can see with this game, like, this is another level, and this is the machine that I de like, designed to get it. Because in this level, there's a bunch of stuff here blocking your way, and I designed that. So if you start it, you'll see how it works. Look. It's climbing on top of all the debris, and it takes a while, but there we go. Flips over, and there we go. Right? Uh, so essentially in this game, there isn't one answer there isn't one solution you can design you know any number of uh, of different machines or contraptions and hence the name of the game to get from point a uh, to point b and that's what i think it's really interesting and really rewarding because you're not stuck with trying to figure out what the game designer had in mind when they developed the level so this is another uh, little contraption that i made for this level i'm going to start here and you'll see what happens going to push the debris over into the hole and then it takes a while. There we go. And that back wheel there gives it some more traction. And there we go. Now, one of the really brilliant things about this game I'm going to show you is uh, if you... Let me sign in here. Okay. I just sign in. It, say you don't know how to beat a level or you beat a level but you're curious to see how other people beat it. This is where this game is brilliant. Uh, you see that icon there on the bottom of uh, the level selection. If you... If you tap that, you'll go into the, the game's server, and then you're going to download uh, people's uh, solutions to that level. And this is what is really interesting, because you see how people get really creative. And another thing, I, uh, there's a soap 
uh, icon there. I'm not sure if you can tell, but depending on certain parameters that you solve the the uh, the level, you get like some some little badges and some rewards. Like I know the boomerang means that you solve the level and all the pieces of your contraption went back to the beginning that uh, blue uh, blue rectangle in the beginning. So. I don't remember what all of them mean, but uh, it's interesting because you can try to collect all the awards for, for all the levels, right? So let's try, let's see what this person did. So uh, it's fairly, uh, what's it called? It's fairly uh, uh, complicated there, the design that they came up with. So that's what it does. He has like a, I can't even describe that, but yeah. But it works, see, it's, it's getting there. There, see? Now let's go back and see what somebody else might have designed for that. Let's see this one. Powerful uh, by God of Hockey. So let's see what he came up with. Go, let's start. So that's pretty intricate. And there he goes, climbing the, uh, the debris. And he made it. Now, you can do that yourself. If you create a level, and you th sorry, if you create a... a a machine to be at a level and you think it's really cool all you have to do is save it give it a name and it's uploaded to their, their servers and then other people can see what you came up with and I think the community aspect of this game is what's really interesting because you're not limited to what you came up with to solve the levels you can see what other people did and that gives you ideas in designing your own machines next time so this guy came up with something that doesn't seem like it's gonna work but uh... It's not really going anywhere. I mean, I know he made it because he saved it to the server, right? There you go. It's, it's going somewhere now. As you can see, some machines are more efficient than others, but, you know, that's to be expected. So let's try let's try another level. Let's say the wall. Let's see what people came up with. Okay, this is what I came up with. So let's see what other people did to beat that level. Okay, so this person came with... with uh, whoa, that's uh, pretty big. It's like a, I don't even know what to call that, but it's big. And there it goes. So let's see what somebody else might have come up with. Let's see this guy. Oh, that's the that's to rate the uh, their uh, their design. So let's see what this person came up with. Whoa, that's uh, some sort of. Oh, that that's pretty interesting actually. It's uh it's kind of like a. Uh, See, that, it, it, this one right there shows you how creative some people get. This is kind of like a, a trebuchet, or I think that's how you pronounce it. Sort of like a catapult. Like, see, it shoots up the, the little pink square, and then there's an engine there to, to you know, give it that extra boost. So, in short, this is, uh, this is fantastic contraption. And it's out on the App Store. The thing's still going. It's out on the App Store for $5, which I think for the value that you get, uh, it's uh, pretty decent. And it's a very interesting puzzler. If you if you like coming up with different solutions other than what the game designer expect of you, this is the game to get. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it.